Everybody, drink! Drink! Oh, this can't go on like 
like this anymore. We are going to bankrupt if their king continues with his way of lifestyle. All oh, Denmark, only the king's death can save you now. Incredible royal weddings ever in Denmark. The whole city. 
sitting party like in the good times of King Joseph Barmelis. The only one who was not in the mood was Hamlet. No, it's not your hair. What is wrong is everything else. This party is wrong. This happened and it's wrong. Happened? Don't ruin your mother's wedding. This doesn't speak. It just does his husband. <laughs> so for three days, the whole city party on. Finally, the work went out and everyone returned home. King Claudio and Queen Gertrude had a country to run.
remember a jellyfish. What is romantic about that? Oh, but he's so cute. So what? He's very, very cute. Okay, yeah. he's very, very cute, but he's not very, very stable. And the Simona really knows about that, right? Yeah. And before you even mention him, although it's not unstable, he is. He's over passionate, okay? Yeah. Unstable? No! It's called fashion instability! If you say so. Yes, I say so. But we are not here to discuss Pantelo. We are discussing Hamlet, and we are to tell her what we have been discussing about him. You're right. Ophelia, we've been talking with the girls, and uh, they have come to a conclusion that Hamlet is. He's so cute. I know! No, not that. We think Hamlet is not good for you. Come back to me.
loving obligations because we are still obligations. So we might love you now, right? But he will grow to be a king. So, 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 his decisions will be state decisions. So no matter what he promised, he will not keep that promise because kings never keep their promises. They are kings. So when Hans and Hamlet will promise anything to get you in his bed. Now here it is. It's true. He's a man. You're a man too. That's why I know, Ophelia. You must be very careful. Filipe! Filipe! Oh, my sweet boy! What are you doing here? Oh, you will be late. Do you want to be late? Because if you're late, you will lose the ship. Do you want to lose the ship? Because if you want to lose the ship, it's okay. I will be deeply forgive you. Why don't your father? It's okay! No, Mom. I don't want that. And in fact, I'm leaving right now, sister. Remember what we talked about. Ophelia? What did he tell you? Nothing. <laughs> Ophelia? What did he tell you? Nothing, Mom. Ophelia gave you life. Do you really think you're not telling me? Hey! Something about Hamlet. Ha ha! Hamlet is a very serious subject. Have you been talking to him? Oh, shame, shame, shame. What's going on between you two? None of me. The truth. Nothing. He's just very kind to me. Kind? He is kind and you call that nothing. What kind of foolish girl are you? You're acting like some innocent girl who doesn't understand the ways of the world. But I am an innocent girl, mother. And Hamlet made the holiest vows to me. What kind of foolish girl are you? He's a prince, he's a castle, he's under the middle ages. That's one to nothing here. But mother, he's different. Philly, I know what I'm talking about. Don't waste your time with Hamlet. Don't believe his love vows. Hamlet is bad, 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 bad for you. Now come with me. This way, my lord. Those were a lot of stairs. Wait. So here. Yes. Keep floating through on the back. Very peculiar spirits. Do you think he'll appear? Of course he will. He promised. He? Well, he it. The ghost was very clear. He it wanted to see Hamlet. Is that that? No. But the body language was clear. Body language is everything. <laughs> Did you feel that? What? No, but it was clear. No. Oh, yes, I, I feel it. It was super clear.
I knew it! I knew it! Oh, I knew it! Oh, my uncle is just with a luxurious animal! It is me now, so go sit it! What did he say again? With my uncle. I have a word to him. I can answer to my mother for boys and into my father's ear! Whoa, whoa, that's, that's a lot! Yes, yes, I want to kill him! No, 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 that's a lot, lot, lot lots of lots! You must be very, very sure. Come on, Marcella, there's no one here! But are you sure you've got Marcella? That was a creepy gas experience. Your father still has it, Hamlet. So what did he tell you? That there was a horrible villain in Denmark. <laughs> <laughs> You don't need a ghost returning from the grave to tell you that. This country is full of horrible villains. <laughs> They're everywhere. My friends, I need a favor. Don't ever tell anyone what you see. No matter how crazy you look, you must never, ever tell anyone what I tell you. Not even a comment, not even a gesture, and not even a word. Understood? Yes, yes. Swear it! Really? Yeah. Okay, 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 we start. You guys are going to be all the day. OMG, what was that? There are more things in heaven and earth than I dreamt in order to get my life. Now, I need to be alone and safe. See that no one bothers me. Yes. Oh, I'll help you rest. I will help you rest in peace. First, first I must be sure, after all, that. Only evidence I have is the testimony of a ghost. Not much to tell a king and a relative. Yes, but I must be sure. I must be sure. I know, I know. My bad. 
crazy dancing, shouting, and chasing imaginary friends are clear symptoms of love craziness. That boy is madly in love with you, believe me. And you know what? That is very dangerous. Love is a violent emotion that makes people self-destruct. That's why I never loved anyone, not even your father. God give him in his glory and never let him return. Now come, we must tell the king about this.
this. Oh my lord, it is love, a twisted kind of love that now is suffering from rejection. Oh, you rejected my little name. Okay. Oh, why, girl, why? Oh, I know, it's because you were black. Oh, we can change the world, bro. Miranda! Uh, I was perfectly happy with this love. Was my mother who told me to reject Hamza, girl. That is not important now. I still don't get how your daughter got me the cause of Hamza's distress. You shall witness how Ophelia's incredible beauty is the, is the cause of all this. Oh, my little honey, apology is very sensitive to beauty. You get it from me? No, but I don't want to talk to Hamlet ever again. Just sure, sure. We will set another counter, okay? But I only follow your order. Okay, go for tackle, girl. Come on, we must get you ready. Lord Hamlet usually comes to read here. Oh, well. Shh. Don't you see I'm reading? And what are you reading, my lord? Words, Miranda, and this word say terrible. I understand, my lord. The thing is that you, that you interrupt all the time, Miranda. My god, you are a talkative person. I don't know how many mothers have to do. Well, your mother is a complex human being. Now, as so I So you insist on interrupting my reading. Uh, your friends brought in that singular son here. And now you tell me, why didn't you mention it before instead of chit-chatting over my book? You are a strange friend. I've been working for the assembly for a long time, Lord Hamlet, if that is what you mean. Never mind, Miranda. You can go now. Rosencrantz. Public! You understand? Hi. I thought you left already. I guess we share the same prison now. Prison, my lord? Who? Huh. Oh, what prison, my lord? Our rooms are a bit full, but to go to our prison, I think it is a bit too full! <laughs> Don't worry. It's a prison. That's not possible, my lord, because if they make it a prison, all guys are prison. You're right! Because if it's a prison and we're all in it, then we're all criminals. If we're all criminals, there is no one left to be caught, and there is no prison without God! Oh! <laughs> it's a figure of speech! For me, it's a prison! What are you doing here anyway? Because the king <clears throat> originally we came to the funeral with uh, turned into a wedding, and then we decided to stay and make our good friend Hamlet a prison. Right. My bad. I got confused because the key. <coughs> <coughs> so, anything you want to tell us? Love, life. How do you friend? You got you. I say, I am sorry, Hamlet. But then, Marvin, he's right. That's why I have been acting strangely, and my mother and the king have asked you to spy on me. Spy? Spy? No, 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 no. We're not here to spy on you. We're here to. to...
need a performance, okay? The wedding is already over, so you may leave now. Oh, wait, Apollonia, but I think we might need a play. Can you perform the murder of Gonzago? My lord, we are master scene. Should they become a history? Pastoral, 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 pasto
Unicornitus of Melia, I would like you to introduce to my friend Unicornitus. What? Say hello to my friend Unicornitus. To whom? There is no one here. <gasps> you are right, Unicornitus. She has changed. No, I have not. Yes, you have. Your beauty has changed you. Your beauty corrupted your honesty. Oh, you're right, Unicornitus. You can say it again. I do love her, but now. No, what? I'm so beautiful, yes. And honest. Beautiful, yes. Honest, honest, you're not. Tell him, friend. Oh, that's how I feel. What? Say her nothing. Oh, come on. Stop pretending. It was clear. But I heard nothing. You need to will you please explain to Ophelia? But I'm not talking to Unicornicus. Say with Unicornicus one more word and you will regret it, okay? Ah, so you seek him now. You pretend that he didn't exist to confuse me. Who you are me? No, I'm so sorry, Hamlet. And I'm sorry if I offended Unicornicus. I'm so sorry, Unicornicus. I didn't mean to upset you. Now you mock me. Unicornicus is not here. He has already left us to your harsh words. There is no escape. Get yourself into a convent at once. You're all criminals. Yes, all of us are criminals. Don't believe in any of us. Hurry to a convent. Acho! Where is your mother? At home. Is she? Come in, Unicornicus. Ophelia, go to a convent. Go to a convent far away. Go to a convent far away and stay there. Or, or if you have to get married, marry a fool because because, because wise men, not far too that you cheat on that, because all of us are cheaters, everyone! Come and get a corn and cube. No, but Hamlet! <sighs> love! Love! That is not love! He doesn't love your daughter. As a matter of fact, I think he hates her. been more sympathetic, he would have reacted differently. Mother! Ophelia, silence. We will set another encounter. We will do no such thing. This isn't love. There is something else here. You're right, love, but, but, but what is wrong with my boy? I feel, I feel so, so, so we must find a solution, Clarius. You're right. Music. 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 Something is troubling his soul, Gertrude. And I don't think it's love. Ah, I'm beginning ah, to suspect it's not madness either. Oh, love. I'm so, so worried. You know what, Gertrude? I think I know what's wrong with Hamlet. All the love I think is his.
bei den Familien? No, 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 no. So, so ist es diese Play. Die Nacht zum Sonnen. In der Nacht wird es für uns Kinder. Ein Kind, das ist früher von Wochen in der Nacht. Oh, I hope we stay in love for 30 more years. You will never die, and I will never get another husband. Never, 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 never. When a woman takes a second husband, it's because she's scared of the first. That's what you think now, but this will change your mind. No, my lord. Me, I don't know if it's either in this life or in the next. If I become a wife again. What a brave and loyal woman! You see me right now? That is a loyal wife. Oh, yeah. You know, the fake has anything offensive in it. Lord, you don't have to be afraid. The king goes to sleep for a chance to dream. But the vicious clock of your arrives. And he's not your name. For a fool of evil. I hate the king because he is too good, too noble. I think he must not have lost this king. And although he is my brother, I will use his body to sleep. The king of Vladimir entered the garden in which the sweet king was sleeping. There, he fulfills his horrible act. You're right, my king. Don't Oh, it's just 
wonder what happened to father was not very clear But I know the best I could think that the trainer was always so dear So the mother, you would sit down and listen to me, I have something to tell you I was lonely, I was tired, I was pain and depression so deep that my hair started falling Was I dying, for a queen without her is the most and the more than a dead or a lesser I just did what I thought it was to me from because no pressure Father, your hair has nothing to do. Oh, Father, why can't you be honest and tell me the truth? You don't understand what it feels to be the better than you're trying to do. So it's healthy, pretty active. You know what, Lord? What happened to Father was not very clean. But I know that the kids will see that the trainer was so important to me. To the Father, to the sister, will listen to me. I have something to tell you. Oh, Father. You are a weak natural woman. Prepare to. Humble and humble and humble. Oh, angels in heaven, protect me with the wings. What can I do for you, my gracious Lord? Oh, oh God, I'm going completely insane. What are you doing here, son? You should be out there healing my treacherous brother, not upsetting your lovely mother. But she's guilty. She betrayed you. Hamlet? Who are you talking to? There is no one in here. Go then. I still need to bring up her to her. 
God has punished me with this murder and this woman with me. So, I am both heaven's executioner and minister of justice. <clears throat> but you're an heaven, she's not. Mother, leave her. Okay. I left my revenge and began to pick up a floor. I turned out to call you my young the church to end fall. But for seven deal with this corn, I must win a fight with the high head before I go home. So we found them in the chamber. He was stuck in the corn of a spreading thing. We bent down, prepared for a story of bloody and madness to clean up the air. So the audience just sit back and relax. We are sure you will love our ending. Very well. We will start without Apollonia. It's strange because she never misses a. Uh, Secret plotting meeting. I have summoned you here because this Hamlet situation is getting out of hand. Marcella? A few minutes after we left him with the queen, we heard screaming, strange noises, and a very tacky song. Hmm. The queen left the chamber in tears and locked herself in the guest room. Hmm. It's very common for the sons to have an unclean relationship with their mothers. Hmm? What? It's the whole Oedipus thing. This has nothing to do with Hamlet being a vegetarian or whatever. Uh. <sighs> a decision must be taken with Hamlet. And you, being his friends, I need your support and collaboration. I believe Hamlet must leave Denmark. No, but he loves it here. That's why I need your help to escort him out of here. He cannot be left alone. Okay. And where will you send him? To England. To England? England. One more madman there will make no difference. Excuse me, my lord. Please to interrupt your secret thing. How did you know? Doesn't matter. What is going on? There's been a complication with Lady Apollonia, my lord. What complication? She's dead. <gasps> she had an accident. More a Hamlet than an accident. <gasps> I saw the king carrying something over his shoulder. It was the bleeding body of Lady Apollonia. Are you sure she was dead? Well, she looked dead. And then I asked the prince if she was dead. He answered, of course, she's as dead as both my father's father. One father, father, one uncle. And his uncle. <laughs> <laughs> then he left, calling his friend Unicornicus to help him with his package. <gasps> oh, I'm dead again! What do we do now? We get nothing worse than that prince, not in the Middle Ages. Wait, no, 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 he really needs to go. He can't stay here. Enough. You two, go look for her. Great. We are going not go to England. Of course you're going. As you can imagine, I cannot deal with my own son. Nephew. 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 <laughs> here in Elsinore. But you managed quite well with his father. Um, I mean, as a father, that is very considerate of you. As soon as we arrive to the court, Give this to the Lord of Gloucester. He will know what to do. Who? You know, the hunchback. Ah. He will take care of it. Oh, Polonius! You can imagine the horrible incident we have in Hamlet. Oh, did you tell him, Miranda? Oh, yes. I told him about the unfortunate incident. Don't worry, my love. I will take care of it. He cannot go to prison. I know he killed Apollonia, but he's my son and the prince, so he won't go to prison. Besides, killing is in fashion nowadays. Mozart tried killing his ministers all over Europe. The Benedictus just can't have enough, and Apollonia wasn't annoying him a bit. We'll all agree on that. Oh, very annoying indeed. Don't worry, he won't go to jail. We will just send him away for a while. Far, 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 far away. You mean? He means far away as in England, far away. He will go there until things calm down a bit and he can compose himself. Oh, what an excellent idea, my baby. <laughs> can you believe Hamlet in his madness accused you from Joseph Arena's death? That's <laughs> <laughs> what I thought. Of course I didn't believe a word of that. Why would you kill your brother to steal his throne and his wife? Oh. Why? <laughs> Ambition is a good reason, my lady. Oh, you're wrong, Miranda. Polonius, are you ambitious? Of course not. You see, Miranda, he's not ambitious. Therefore, you're wrong again. Polonius is nothing else but a sensitive kind of person. We can't get him. 
to tell us where he's put the body. Hamlet, where is Apollonia? At dinner. At dinner where? Not who she eats. Where? She's eaten. Oh. Certain as several political words are true in her ideas amongst other things. Oh. Hamlet, where is Apollonia? In heaven. Oh. Send a messenger if you want to be so sure. If your messenger doesn't find her, you can go check hell. Oh. Seriously, if you don't find her within the next month, you'll be sure to smell her as you go upstairs into the main hall. Who are we going to look for her? No need to hurry. She's not going anywhere. Hamlet, I take care of you as much as I grieve for Apollonia. So for your own protection, I must send you to England at once. The ship is ready to sail. Your friends will go with you. Oh, but I am so lucky. I always wanted to visit London. Can my friend Unicorn Hughes come with me? Of course, my boy. You can go with Unicorn Hughes, behave, and get well. You too, mother. See ya. Oh, I really hope he gets well. Don't worry. You will find peace in London. You will rest in peace. <laughs> <laughs> He was nice, he was cute like no other, he wanted his daughter, my mother. I must find me another. Like that, you will ruin your dress! 
what is going on? Nothing to worry about, Your Honor. <laughs> well, that dress will be ruined, I can tell you that. What are you talking about? Where is my sister going? <laughs> she wanted to go for a swim in the river. <laughs> we told her to change into a bathing suit, but she ran away. My sister doesn't know how to swim. Oh, okay. ah, my sister! Some message for Mr. Horatio! Some message for Mr. Horatio! Yes, yes, it's me! And it's Horatia! Horatia! Yes, can you give me the message now? A man, a man, I thought you were a man! Well, I'm not! Can you give me the message? It's not that simple. We have to sing it. We? Yes. One, two, one, two, three. My friend, you won't believe. Think not the story that recently happened to me. We bore the sheep last night. Rough the season. Gloucester is a very vicious <laughs> And he will deal with Hamlet in a very painful way. I was the one who was supposed to kill him. My mother, my vengeance. It's not vengeance, Laertes. It's justice. My lord, there's a message from Hamlet. What? He writes from the tomb? <sighs> Leave us. I'll go. Is he from Hamlet? Is he dead? Claudius, Claudius, tell me the truth. Is he dead? No, he isn't. What? Something interfered in my van. Justice. <laughs> Claudius, what are we going to do? You assured me he was dead, and he will be once you kill him. What? Hamlet is asking for his return to Elsinore. I would allow him to do that. Once in the castle, we will celebrate his arrival with a fencing match. But what kind of idiot do you think I am, Claudius? This is the way I wrench my sister and my mother by celebrating the comeback of the killer? I learned as you will be Hamlet's rival in the fencing match. Hamlet is so careless and unsuspecting that he won't check the sword's tip beforehand. So you could easily choose a sword with a sharpened point and in one thrust Avenge the death of your mother by your own hands. Yes, and to be extra sure he will die, I will put some poison on the sword's tip. Just a superficial cut will be enough. Yes, yes, yes. And to be extra, extra sure he will die, I will serve him a cup of lethal poison. So, if the sharpened sword doesn't kill him, and the poison in the sword doesn't kill him, the poison in the cup will kill him. Yes, and to be extra, extra sure he will die. Because I think that's enough. Yeah. We must attend your sister. <laughs> You're right. With all these revenge preparations, I forgot she was gone. <laughs> cry, Alertis. Your sister had enough water already. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, 
your father, that's the king, has received your letter and wants you to know you are welcome to come back to Elsinore. Tell the king, my uncle, that I will be arriving soon. Well, my lord, the king, your uncle, also wants you to know that he has spoken with clarity and that the unfortunate incident regarding his mother Apollonia is now in the past. Tell the king. I want to face justice. Well, the king, your father, realizes there is no need for that. Amazing. What are you talking about, Miranda? Listen, you are a prince. Your uncle, who wants to be your father, is the king, and he needs this matter closed. And to be honest, first, nobody needs a trial. Second, nobody needs a scandal. And third, nobody likes Apollonia anyway. Yeah, you're right. So. To put everything behind, Laertes will accept your apologies, and he has agreed to have a fencing match against you tomorrow. A fencing match? Yes, yeah, some weird macho thing, I guess. Very well, Miranda. Tell my uncle, presently the king, that I will be attending the fencing match against Laertes and apologize to him, and to settle once and for all our dispute. Understood, Miranda? Crystal clear. Ladies and gentlemen, we are at the end of the play, and in our very peculiar and musical version of this, the most famous play in the world, we have decided to transform this last scene into a Bohemian Rhapsody, presented by Hamlet's nearest friend, Horatio, and the ghost of the people he directly or under the kill. I am Shady Shakespeare. And this is how I'm let's get it.
bueno, eh, presentamos al equipo porque esto obviamente es producto de un laburo de un equipo maravilloso que tenemos en el cole, con Andrea Pacheco, nuestra coreógrafa. ¡Viva! Hola, González Lobo, encargada de nuestra parte musical. Eh, la información de nuestro equipo, Guado Ucela, asistente, bienvenida. Está, está en el segundo año igual que lo que está repasando Miley, que, para, by the way, Miley fue mamá el martes. Eh, y por supuesto, eh, productora ejecutiva, segunda mamá de muchos, Ale Peralta. ¡Oh! Agradecerle también a Xavi Barreira, nuestra escenógrafa, ex alumna. Unirnos, unirnos. Agradecer al final de Ancho por los vestuarios. Eh, a Nancy Colombres. Nuestra subtituladora, otra saluda a la gente del Teatro Estela Maris, que nos hace sentir como en casa siempre, no nos estoy pidiendo a nadie, eh, al cole, por supuesto, a los profes, a los padres, a todos ustedes por el apoyo, a los chicos por dar una cantidad enorme de tiempo, porque hoy pensaba que estamos en un momento en donde todo parece que tiene que ser rápido y cortito, rápido y cortito y mucho, mucho, mucho. Y eso está muy bueno, pero tiene un problema, que es que rápido y cortito, es rápido y cortito. Eh, y hoy calculé, esta obra, lo que ustedes vieron hoy, tiene más o menos 500 horas de ensayo, de marzo a acá, eh, que es un montón. Eh, yo siempre lo digo, ya hace varios años, siento que es muy generoso de ellos dar un montón de ese tiempo, porque esto se hace fuera del horario de clase. Y nada, espero que lo hayan disfrutado, yo lo disfruté muchísimo. Muchísimas gracias, nos vemos el año que viene. ¡Bien!